Hello everybody. So we're going to finish up chapter 6 today and we're on lesson 6.9 division rules for 1 and 0 and basically our essential question that you should be able to answer by the end of the lesson today. What are the rules for dividing with 1 and 0? And we're on page 253 of your third grade textbook. So let's go ahead and get started. Look at the unlock the problem. What rules for division help you divide with one and zero? Well, if there's only one fish bowl, then all the fish must go in that fish bowl. So if we have four fish, we only have one bowl, how many fish are in that bowl? Four. So any number divided by one equals that number. Five divided by one, five. 7 divided by 1, 7. 1,000 divided by 1, 1,000. All right, so there are three fish and one fishbowl. Draw a quick picture to show the fish in the fishbowl. Write the equation your picture shows. So three fish. How many fishbowls? I have one fishbowl. So I have three fish. All right. If there is the same number of fish and fish bowls, then one fish goes in each fish bowl. So in this case, you see we have four fish bowls. We also have four fish. So four fish, four fish bowls. I couldn't put one fish in each bowl. So what would that look like here? There are three fish and three fish bowls. I'm going to draw three circles for my three fish bowls. I'm going to put one fish in each circle. What is that showing me? Well, I have three fish. I have three fish bowls. So I have one fish in each bowl. So here's the rule any number except zero, divided by itself equals one. One divided by one, one. Two divided by two, one. Three divided by three, one. Four divided by four, one. Five divided, so on. And it says zero divided by zero. We can't divide by zero. It's uh, what we call undefined. Because, for instance, let's say I had five divided by zero. That's not possible because zero times nothing would give me five. Okay, so again, we call that undefined if you divide by zero. All right, but I can have zero divide by any number. Okay, so if there are zero fish and four fish bowls, there will not be any fish in the fish bowls. Zero fish, I have four fish bowls. There's no fish to share. I don't have any. If I don't have any fish to share, the fish bowls have to have zero. So there are zero fish and three fish bowls. So if we draw that, we just have three fish bowls. So zero divided by the three fish bowls is zero. Three times zero is zero. Four times zero is zero. So zero divided by any number except zero equals zero. All right. And if there are zero fish bowls, then you can't separate the fish equally into fish bowls. Dividing by zero is not possible. Four divided by zero, not possible. So D, you cannot divide by zero. So we've got four rules that we're going to use throughout today's lesson. So here, same dividend and divisor are the same, so the answer has to be 1. We have two beehives. I have two bees, so one bee in each one. 7 divided by 1. Any number divided by 1 is that number. 7 divided by 1 is 7. 
So that's like saying I have seven fish and one fishbowl. All seven fish have to be in the one fishbowl. Eight divided by eight, that's the same as two divided by two. One. Zero divided by five. I have no fish and I have five fishbowls. So there's no fish in any fishbowl. Six fish, six fish bowls, I have one. Zero divided by eight, I have no fish, and I have eight fish bowls. Well, that doesn't matter, I still have zero in each fish bowl. Five fish, five fish bowls, put one. Two fish, one fish bowl, well, they got to go in the same one, so two. No fish. Seven fish bowls. I'm still going to have zero in each fish bowl. Zero divide by five. This is not read as five divide by zero. It's zero divide by five. Zero. Nine divide by one. Nine. Seven divide by seven is one. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 6 divided by 1. 6. 25 divided by 5. 25 with 5 groups. 5 times what is 25? 5 times what equals 25? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 0 divided by 6. Well, this is 0. 18 divided by 3. 3 times what is 18? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So 18 divided by 3 is 6. 14 divided by 2. 2 times what is 14? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 7. If 2 times 7 is 14, then 14 divided by 2 is 7. 9 divided by 9. That's 1. 28 divided by 4. 4 times what is 28? Well, let's skip count fours to get to 28. If you just know your force times tables, write it in. You should know your force. Okay, this shouldn't be a difficult problem. Four times what is 28? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, seven. Four times seven is 28. So 28 divided by four is seven. Eight divided by one, that's eight. 27 divided by three. 3 times what is 27? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. 9. So 27 divided by 3 is 9. 10 divided by 5 is the same as saying 5 times what is 10? 2. 2 fives is 10. 0 divided by 3. That's 0. 0 divided by 1. That's 0. 26. Claire has 7 parakeets. She puts 4 of them in a cage. She divides the other parakeets equally among 3 friends to hold. How many parakeets does each friend get to hold? Okay. So, she has 7 parakeets. She puts four in cages. That leaves her three parakeets. Seven take away four is three. She has three friends. She has three birds. Three birds, three friends. So each gets to hold one parakeet. Twenty-seven. Lena 
has five parrots. She gives each parrot one grape in the morning and one grape in the evening. How many grapes does she give to her parrots each day? Okay, so one plus one is two. She gives each parrot two grapes. So five times two. Ten grapes. Why is it times two? Because she gives one in the morning and one in the evening. And there's five parrots. Each parrot gets two grapes. All right, 28. Suppose a pet store has 21 birds that are in 21 cages. Use what you know about division rules to find the number of birds in each cage. Explain your answer. Well, <clears throat> 21 cages and 21 birds you would have one bird in each cage. Any number divided by itself equals one. Okay. So again, if we have 21 cages and 21 birds, I could put one bird in each cage. 21 divided by 21 is one. What rule is that? Any number divided by itself equals one. All right, 29. For numbers 29a through 29c, select true or false. Is 4 divided by 4, 1? Yes, it is. Is 6 divided by 1, 1? No. Any number divided by 1 is that number. So it should be 6. False. 1 divided by 5 is 1. No, that's not true. False. 5 times 1 is 5. So this should be a 5 divided by 5 is 1. All right, compare and contrast. You've learned the rules for division with 1. Compare and con contrast them to help you learn how to use the rules to solve problems. All right, compare the rules. Think about how they are alike. Contrast the rules. Think about how they are different. Rule A, any number divided by 1 equals that number. Any number except zero divided by itself equals one. How are the rules alike? Both are division rules for one, all right. How are they different? Rule A is about dividing a number by one, the quotient is that number. Rule B is about dividing a number by itself, the quotient is always one. All right, so let's read the problem. R read the problem, write an equation and solve. Write rule A or rule B to tell which rule you used. Jamal bought seven goldfish at the pet store. He put them in one fish bowl. How many goldfish did he put in each bowl? In the fish bowl. So he has seven fish, but he only has one fish bowl. So we're doing seven divided by one. Any number divided by one equals that number. Rule A. And B. Ava has six turtles. She divides them equally among six aquariums. How many turtles does she put in each aquarium? Six turtles. Six aquariums. Six divided by six equals one. Any number divided by itself equals 1. Any number divided by itself equals 1. Rule B. Okay, so that's that's all there is to dividing by 1 and 0. So um, in our next time we meet, we'll, we, we will be reviewing for the chapter 6 test. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.